Hi, welcome to Virtual CB1A. This is Mamrena, and for today's video discussion, we are going to focus on the area problem. Okay, so the area problem will give us one of the interpretations of a definite integral, and it will lead us to the definition of the definite integral. So as you know, we started with indefinite integral, and now we are going to start off our discussion of definite integrals with the area problem muna. So, to start off, we are going to assume that we've got a function f of x that is positive on some interval a and b. What we want to do is determine the area of the region between the function and the x-axis. So, let's consider this graph. So, this is the graph of the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 from 0 to 2. So, the interval is from 0 to 2. In other words, we want to determine the area of the shaded region. So, itong green na region natin na ito, yung bounded by the curve and the x-axis, yan ang kukuna natin ng area. So, napakadaling kumuha ng area if you have polygons. If you have a square, all you have to do is to... Multiply the side by itself. So, all you have to do is to use the formula S squared. If you have a rectangle, ang gagawin mo lang, multiply mo yung length by the width. Kung meron kang triangle, and dali lang din, given that you have the base and the height, it is just 1 half BH. Ano pa ba yung mga common natin na ano? na formula for area. Circle! Ayan. Kung meron kang circle, it is equal to pi r squared. So, di ba ang dali lang maghanap ng area if you have regular polygons or even a circle? But, what if ang kukunan mo ay irregular na figure? So, hindi ito, ito, tong area na to, yung area natin dito na green, hindi siya makakwalify as a square, a rectangle, a triangle, or a circle. Bounded tayo by a curve sa taas. Tapos, sa baba, may straight line tayo. At saka dun sa dalawang side. So, paano makukunin yung area nito? So, it is impossible to get the area of this region using solely yung mga formula na alam na natin from before. So, ang gagawin natin, instead of finding the exact area, we will estimate the area. So, paano tayo mag estimate ng area? So, to estimate the area, we will divide up the interval into n subintervals, h of width, so b minus a over n, where n is the number of subintervals. Okay? Okay. So, nag-create ako dito ng apat na graphs. But before that, um, insert ko lang pala dito muna ulit yung function natin. The function is x squared plus 1 from 0 to 2. x squared plus 1 on the interval 0 to 2. Okay, so identify natin yung lower interval natin. At saka yung upper interval natin. So, the lower interval is 0 and the upper interval is B, which is 2. Ayan. Okay. So, from here, hahanapin natin yung area nitong region na to. Or, i-estimate natin yung area nitong region na to. Ayan. So, uh, mag-assume tayo that we, we want to divide the interval into four sub-intervals. So, yung number ng sub-intervals mo, that is going to be your value for n, which is 4. And from our previous 
voltage here. To get the change of x, we have B minus A is equal to N. So we have the change in x is equal to B minus A over N, which is equal to, we have 2 minus 0 over 4, which is 2 over 4, which is equal to, what I know, Q, um, tamad na talaga ako mag-compute. 2 divided by 4. 1 half. 1 half pala ito. Diba? 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5. 1 half. Ano ba naman, Rena? Ba't di ka pa nag-compute kanina? <laughs> okay. So, meron tayong change in x, which is 0 0.5. Now, ano yung silby ni change in x? So, change in x will serve as your length. So, ano ibig sabihin natin dito sa length na to? So, ang ibig sabihin natin dito sa length na to, we are going to subdivide our interval into four subintervals so that we can have approximating rectangles. So, pwede nating gamitin yung formula ng area, which is length times width, okay, by using approximating rectangle. So, since our change in x is 0 0.5, so from 0, you will add 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then you will find your markers. So, your markers are 0 0.5, because 0 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.5, and from 0 0.5, you will have another subinterval, which is 0 0.5, 5 plus 0 0.5, 1. Ayan. Meron na tayong pangalawang rectangle. Next, we have 1 plus 0 0.5. Meron tayong 1.5. So, ito yung pangatlong rectangle natin. And finally, we have 1.5 plus 0 0.5, 2. So, meron tayong mabubuong apat na rectangles. But, hindi pa tayo tapos dito. Bakit? So, Masa subdivide natin siya into four regions. Yes. Ito yung unang region. Ayan. Ito yung pangalawang region. ba? Ito yung pangatlong region. At saka... Ito yung pang-apat na region. Yan. Meron na tayong apat na regions. Mas madali na mag-approximate. Pero, curve pa rin yung taas niya. So, ano yung gagawin natin kung, turf, kung curve pa rin yung taas niya? Although, meron na tayong magagamit for the length dito sa approximating rectangle, wala naman tayong width. Or, in other words, yung width ay yung magsisilbing height ng rectangle natin. So, itong width, W, is the height of the rectangle. Or, ito yung value niya sa Y. So, kung gano'n siya kataas dito sa Y. Ayan. So, ang gagawin natin, since approximating values lang naman tayo, or nag-estimate lang tayo ng values, Ito yung original natin na graph. Gagawa tayo ng mga approximating rectangles using first the right endpoints. So, kung ang gagamitin mo ay yung right endpoints in approximating your rectangles, so ang kanan natin ay ito. ba? So, ang right endpoints natin, ito yung left, ito yung right. So, this is going to be our first approximating rectangle. On the second approximating rectangle, right endpoint, ito naman yung susunod natin na magiging graph. Next. Pangatlo na. So, right endpoint ulit. 
Okay. Um, this point naman yung gagamitin natin for the height. And finally, for the last end point, ito naman siya. Okay? And the area that you will get from here will be denoted by A sub R, meaning you used your right endpoints. Now, let's move forward with the next one. So, hatiin ulit natin sa apat na intervals. Tapos, gagawa ulit tayo ng approximating rectangles. This time, ang gagamitin naman natin ay yung mga left endpoints. So, kung ang gagamitin mo ay yung mga left endpoints, you can denote it by A sub L. And the height of your rectangle will be based on your left end point. So, dito from 0 to 0 0.5, ang gagamitin mo ay yung value niya at 0. From 0 0.5 to 1, ang gagamitin mo naman ay yung value niya at 0 0.5. At 1, ang gagamitin, 1 to 1.5, ang gagamitin mo ay nasa left. So, we have 1. And finally, from 1.5 to 2, ang gagamitin mo ay yung value niya sa left, which is 1.5. So, i-compare natin yung... Nabura. Compare natin yung area niya sa left end point at saka sa right end point. So, as you will notice here, kung kanina, ang mga area natin ay as follows. Ito. Yan. Fitted siya dun sa curve, right? Ayan. Sakto dun sa kulay green na area. Okay, this time, tingnan natin yung ano, yung area niya sa right end points. So, ito yung una niyang region. As you can see here, meron tayong dagdag tayo ng kulay. Meron tayong area na masasakop na hindi kasali. So, ano yung area na masasakop natin na hindi kasali? Uh, gawin nating violet yung area. Ayan. So, ito, Itong mga to, hindi to kasali talaga. Yan. Ito tong area na to, lampas siya dun sa curve na red. Right? So, ito, tong mga to, hindi talaga natin yan dapat sinasali. So, if you use the right end points, If you use the right endpoints, your area is greater than the true area. Okay? Okay. Kung gagamit ka naman ng left endpoints, ano naman yung magiging uh, result nito dun sa mga areas natin. So, kung gagamit ka naman ng mga ganito, meron ka namang mga region na ma hindi maiisali. As you can see here, there are some regions below the curve. These are part. These are part of the original area. Pero hindi mo sila maisasama sa computation. So, if you use the left end points, you can expect your area to be less than 
the true area. Okay? Okay. And finally, meron pa tayong isang technique. So, ito naman yung halfway ng left end point at saka ng right end point. So, paano mo naman ito gagamitin? So, this is denoted by A sub M. Or, you are going to use the midpoint of each of the interval. So, ito yung nalit natin siya sa apat na interval. Ayan. So, ano yung height ng mga approximating rectangle mo? So, you will use the midpoint. Okay? So, ito yung gitna ng 0, point, uh, ng 0 to 0 0.5, which is 0 0.25. Ito yung gagamitin mong height ng rectangle mo. Next, ito. Gitna ng 0 0.5 to 1. 0.75 naman. So, ito yung gagamitin mong gitna ng approximating rectangle mo. Next, another gitna. Yan. Ay. From here, Drawing tayo to the right and to the left. So, ito, hindi pa rin siya eksakto. But, as you can notice here, meron siyang dalawang area. Ay. Meron ka ng dalawang maiko-consider sa kanya. Yung isa, yung area niya, na lumampas at saka yung area niya na hindi nasakop. So, meron siya mga area na lumampas, may mga area rin siya na hindi nasakop. So, medyo binabalansa niya, but we cannot be sure that it is really equal to the true area. Kasi nagdadagdag siya ng area, yung hindi nasakop, tapos nagbabawas din siya ng area. So, binabalansa niya yung area na greater than at saka area na less than. So, this area using the midpoint is between the area using the left endpoints and area between the right endpoints. So, you can be sure that if this is the true area, A raised to T, this is between If this is the true area T, this is greater than or less than the area using the left endpoints, but less than the area using the right endpoints. Lowercase r lang pala. Itong area natin using the midpoint, same principle din siya. So, the area between the midpoint is greater than the area using the left endpoints but less than the area using the right endpoints but we don't have enough proof that a sub t is equal to a sub m so um instead of saying equal it is estimated to be closer to a sub m than these two. Okay? So, uh, hindi po ibig sabihin na kinuha na natin si A sub M, ay nakuha na natin yung true area. Ha? Hindi po ganun yung case. But, their areas can be close or closer kesa dito sa A sub L at saka A sub R. Okay? Okay. So, now, na medyo maliwanag na para sa atin ito, magsasolve na tayo. Okay? Okay. Uh, gusto ko ito i-duplicate ng isa, dalawa, tatlo. Tatlong beses kasi tatlong computation yung gagawin natin. Sa dalawa, tatlo. Okay. Punta tayo dun sa una. We are now in
Ayan, page number 6. Dito tayo sa page number 7. Magtatanggal ako ng ilang. Hindi natin kailangan. So, ititira ko lang muna ICA sub R. Okay, as we mentioned earlier, our function is x squared plus 1 from 0 to 2 with n is equal to 4. Okay, may sub-interval tayo na 4. Now, let's find a sub r. So, a sub r, using the idea of area of rectangles, we have to multiply the length by the width, or in this case, the width is the height of our rectangles. So, we are going to have the values, since mga right endpoints yung kinukuha natin, meron tayo mga values ng f of x. But, ano-ano yung mga kukunin natin ng f of x? Yung mga right na endpoint lang. Endpoints lang. So, right na endpoints natin are 0 0.05, 1, 1.5, at saka 2. Hindi kasali si 0 kasi left endpoint siya. So, meron tayong rectangle 1, rectangle 2, rectangle 3, rectangle 4. And the end, right endpoints are 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 1.5, and 2. So, ang kukunin natin ay si f of 0 0.5, f of 1, F of 15, ah, 15, F of 1.5, and F of 2. Now, ano tong mga F of 0 0.5, F of 1, F of 1.5, F of 2? So, ito yung mga height. <coughs> Excuse me. Height of our rectangle. So, ang mga width natin, of course, from 0 to 0 0.5. Next, we have 0 0.5 to 1, 1.5, at saka 2. So, laging ang length lang naman niya ay yung computed value natin kanina, which is the change in x. B minus A over the interval N, which is equal to 0 0.5. Okay? Okay. So, hindi magbabago yung length natin. Lagi lang yung 0 0.5. Ngayon, compute na natin yung mga value niya at F of 0 0.5, F of 1, F of 1.5, and F of 2. Uh-huh. Meron tayong X squared plus 1. So, 0 0.5 squared plus 1 that is equal to lan yun 1 half squared is 1 fourth 0 0.25 0 0.25 to try nga natin talaga 0 0.5 squared ayun 0 0.25 plus 1 which is equal to 1 point 25. So, this is the first uh, height of your triangle. So, ang height nitong unang triangle natin is 1.25. Next, kunin natin yung height ng second triangle. So, 1 squared plus 1, meron tayong 2. Ayan. As you can see here, medyo obvious naman siya. Ayan, o. Oh. size niya ay si 2. So, here the height is Next, we have 1.5. Ano? 1.53 over 2. 9 over 4 plus 1. 2.25 plus 1. 3.25. Ayan. Na-compute ko na. 3.25 ito. So, ito, ang height nito ay... 
3.25. Finally, ano yung height nito? Medyo obvious naman no, nasa 5 siya. Pero still, compute natin. 2 squared plus 1, 4 plus 1, edi 5. Ayan. So, ito yung mga height nung rectangle natin. 1.5, 2, 3.5, at saka 5. Okay. Ngayon, compute na natin yung area. So, ang area ng R sub 1, uh, ang area ng A sub R ay equal sa, of course, area ng R sub 1. That pala lowercase yung ginamit ko dito. Masyadong malaki yung pambura. Para mas madali nyong ma-associate yung mga values. R sub 1, R sub 2, R sub 3, R sub 4. So, area ng R sub 1 plus area ng R sub 2 plus area ng R sub 3 plus area ng R sub 4. So, paano natin compute yung mga area? Area ng R sub 1, length. Ano yung length niya? The length is always 0 0.5 times the height. The height is 1.5. 2.5 plus area ng R sub 2, the length is again 0 0.5 times the height which is 2 plus again 0 0.5 si R sub 3 times the height which is 3.25 and finally we have 0 0.5 times 5 dun sa dulo. So ano ang area using the right end points? Let's multiply. 0 0.5 times 1.25 is 0 0.625 plus 0 0.5 times 2 is 1 plus 0 0.5 times 3.25 is 1.625 and finally this is 2.5 yan add natin sila 0 0.625 plus 1 plus 1.625 plus 2.5. We have 5.75 square units. Okay, this is the area of our region using the right endpoints. But we expect our area to be less than this area. Yung true area natin, mas maliit yan dito. Kasi meron tayong mga area na nasakop na hindi naman natin kailangan. Iyon yung mga violet na regions dito. Okay? Okay. Uh, move tayo. Doon naman tayo sa left end point. Same, ano, same procedure lang din. But, I will still show you how it is done. Para wala tayo sisihan pagka hindi nyo nasagot. Kasi meron tayong video. Okay. And focus na ako sa inyo since tapos na kami sa third year. Nahabol na namin lahat ng topic. So, babawi naman ako sa inyo. Okay. Dito tayo sa left end point. We expect the area to be less than the true area. Okay. Gagawin natin dito. Using the left end points naman. So, bilugan natin yung mga left end points. So, kung ito yung R sub 1 mo, ito yung R sub 2, ito yung R sub 3, at ito yung R sub 4. Left end point 0, 0 0.5, 1, tsaka 1.5. Di kasali si 2. Kasi si 2 ay nasa right ni R sub 4. So, si R sub 1 ay may left end point na 0. Si R sub 2 ay may left end point na 0 0.5. Si R sub 3 ay may left end point na 1. At si R sub 4 ay may left end point na 1.5. So, we don't really need 2 because it is not a left end point of any of the rectangles. So, how can we find the area of the left end point? So, that is the area of R sub uh, the area of ay, teka, gawin natin tong ano? L sub 1. Ay, hindi. Oh, area pa rin siya ng ano? R sub 1. Parehas pa rin naman. Hindi na ako magpapalit ng, ano, ng notation, ha?
Ano ba to? Ah, sige, gawin na nga natin tong L. Ayan. So, rectangle using the left end point sub 1. Rectangle using the left end point sub 2. Uh, rectangle using the left end point sub 3. And rectangle using the left end point sub 4. So, A, L sub 1 plus A, L sub 2 plus A, L sub 3 plus A, L sub 4. Now, let's find the values for f of x. Ano ni mga kukunan natin? So, dito, ang mga kailangan natin kunan ng values ay as follows. f of 0, f of 0 0.5, f of 1, and f of 1.5. We already solved for some of the values earlier. So, 0 point, again, f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. Parehas pa rin tayo ng properties. From 0 to 2 with interval 4. So, we have here 1. We have 0 0.5 plus 1. We have 1.25. Yan, tanda ko pa. And then, 1 squared plus 1, we have 2. We have 1.5 Squared plus 1. No nga to? 3.25. 3.25. Okay. So, ito naman yung mga gagamitin natin this time. Itong mga pink. Yan. Okay. Hindi pa rin tayo magbabago ng value ng length. Still, the length is 0. 5. Same pa rin tayo dun sa previous example natin. So, computein na natin si, L, si A of the rectangle with the left end point sub 1. We have the length which is 0 0.5 times the height which is 1 plus the Second rectangle with the height 1.25. Next length, 0 0.5. Ang height nitong pangatlong triangle ay 2. And finally, we have 0 0.5 times height nung pangapat. 3.25. So, dapat ito mas maliit kesa sa area using the right end point, ha? Pagka ito, mas mataas sa right end point. Mali tayo. Okay, let's compute. So, 1. Ito ay 0 0.5 plus kalahati ng 1.25. 0 0.625 plus kalahati ng 0 0.5. Ay, ano pala? Kalahati ng 2. 1. And next, 0 0.5 times 3.25. 1.625. Okay, now let's solve. One, uh, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.625 plus 1 plus 1.625. Okay, so we have here the area which is 3.75, of course, square units. Let's compare the area using the right at saka yung left. So, zero po, uh, ano, uh, 5.75 yung right. Yung left, 3.75. So, we can assume that the true area is between 3.75 and 5.75. 75. Ayan. Pagka lumampas pa ng 5.75 dito, hindi na niya totoong area yon, Kasi, may mga boundaries tayo. Yun lang. Using the right endpoints, at saka using the left endpoints. So, although, hindi natin alam kung ano yung totoong area ng region natin bounded by the curve, we have an idea kung ano lang yung limitations natin. Hindi tayo pwedeng bumaba sa 3.75 at hindi tayo pwedeng tumaas sa 5.75. Our true area is just between these two markers. Okay? 
Okay. Sabi ko nga kanina, may mas closer. Ano yung isang mas closer? Si midpoint. So, using the midpoint of our approximating rectangles. So, again, bura-bura yung mga nandito. Hindi natin sila kailangan. Nasagot na natin sila. Dito na tayo sa huli. Hindi ko siya masakop. Hmm. Okay. Yan. Ito na yung dulo natin. So, nahanap natin yung mga midpoints nito kanina. Kasi hindi ko pala nasulat lahat. So, yung isang midpoint natin ay 0.25. Yung isang midpoint ay 0.75. Isang midpoint between 1 and 1.5 is 1.25. At pang-apat na midpoint ay 1.5 to 2, 1.75. Okay. So... Baguhin ko yung kulay ng mga midpoint para hindi tayo nagkakalituhan. Kulay ano kasi to eh. Kulay blue pa rin. Gawin natin kulay red yung mga midpoints. Okay, ito yung mga gitna. Okay. So, makakukunan natin dito ng f of x. Again, our f of x is equal to x squared plus 1. So, we have to find the value of f of 0.25, f of 0.75, f of 1.25, and f of 1.75. And we expect the area that we will get here to be between the area using the right endpoints and area using the left endpoints then okay so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, denote natin to as the area using the midpoint sub 1 the area using the midpoint sub 2 uh, the area using the midpoint sub 3 area using the midpoint sub 4. So, the area using the midpoint is equal to the area using the midpoint sub 1, area using the midpoint sub 2, area using the midpoint sub 3, and area using the midpoint sub 4. Okay. So, as is pa rin tayo, ang length pa rin natin ay 0 0.5 using our formula from earlier. So, ang width pa rin ng rectangle natin ay 0 0.5. Di pa rin siya nagbabago. Now, let's solve for the following. 0 0.25 squared plus 1. We have 1.0625. Next, 0 0.75 squared plus 1. Ay! 1.0625. Six two five. Next, we have one point two five squared plus one. You will end up with two point five six two five. And finally, we have one point seventy five. Ayun. Um, this is 4.0625. Ayan. Um, kunin na natin yung mga area nila. 
First, we have 0 0.5 times 1.0625 plus 0 0.5 times 1.5625. Ay, meron pala akong technique na hindi nasabi sa inyo kanina para mapabilis yung computation. Sabihin ko mamaya before matapos. Next, 0 0.5 times 2.5625. And finally, 0 0.5 times 4.0625. Okay. Solve na tayo. The first one is 0 0.53125. The next is... Zero point seven eight one two five. The next one is one point two eight one two five. And the last one is two point zero three one two five. Okay, pag inad mo to lahat dapat between ng right endpoint saka left endpoint area. 0.53125 plus 0.78125 plus 1.28125 plus 2.03125 Okay, so the answer here is 4.625 square units. Okay, sabi ko meron ako hindi nasabi sa inyo kanina. May shortcut dito. Hindi ko pa na-discuss kanina. Uh, balikan natin si right hand side. Okay, si right hand side at as you can see here, Common sa kanya si 0 0.5, di ba? So, para madaling mag-solve, this is an alternate solution. 0 0.5 times, factor out mo si 0 0.5, tapos i-add mo yung mga height natin, 1.25 plus 2 plus 3.25 plus 5. Mas mabilis yung solution nito. So, 0 0.5 times... 1.25 plus 2 plus... 3.25 plus 5, 11.5. So, 11.5 times 0.5, you will end up with 5.75 pa rin. So, <laughs> ayan. Parang lang yung magiging sagot. So, dito, kung gusto nyo makabilis ng solution, pwede nyo i-factor out si 0 0.5. Okay? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, uh, as you can see here, 4.625 is greater than 3.75, but it is less than 5.75. So, nasatisfy natin yung property that your midpoint can be less than or equal to the area using your right endpoint, but it should always be greater than the area using your left endpoint. Okay? So, this is how you approximate the area of your region bounded by your curve. Okay. So, actually, next meeting ko pa talaga i-discuss sa inyo itong part na to, but Ah, uh, sayang naman yung ano, sayang naman yung yung time natin. Meron pa naman. So, I will illustrate here how to how to solve for the definite integral. Paano mo makukuha yung true area? Baka kasi makalimutan niyo na next time. So, Nasa na ba ako? Ito. Page. Ito, 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 ito. Ayan. So, as 
we know from the previous from the previous solution na ginawa natin may nakuha tayong area ng R which is 5.75 Area ng left, which is 3.75. And finally, area using the midpoints, which is... Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> ano nga yun? Tadulo. 4.625. 4.625. Okay, this is 4.625. Ngayon, kunin natin yung... True area. Paano tayo kukuha ng true area? Ang sagot dyan ay definite integrals. I will introduce you to, indefinite in, uh, to definite integrals. Next meeting pa sana talaga. But, nanghihinayang ako dun sa time. So, our function is given as x squared plus 1. And, we have the intervals from 0 to 2. Okay? Actually, dito, hindi na natin kailangan si n. Hindi na natin yan kailangan. ba? Alam natin na n is equal to 4, but we don't need n or the number of intervals this time. We only need uh, the lower limit and upper limit, 0 and 2 lang. Uh, using this, good to go na tayo. So, what we're going to do is to use this to find the area. So, the area is actually the integral of your function f of x, of course, with respect to x, from your lower limit a to your upper limit b. Okay? Okay. So, ano yung gagawin natin dito? So, to get the area, this is actually equal to the function x squared plus 1 dx from 0 to 2. So, sundin lang natin yung knowledge natin sa indefinite integral from before. So, from indefinite integral, we know that this is um, x sub 2, e d plus 1 over 2 plus 1. You are going to end up with x cube over 3. So, meron ka dito x cube over 3 for the, the uh, for the integral of your first term. Integral ng pangalawang term, meron ka dito 1x raised to 0, ba? So, plus 1 over 0 plus 1 ka lang. So, you will end up with x plus x. Ayan. So, the difference here is you now have a lower limit and upper limit. So, sulat natin dito, 0 to 2. So, ano yung purpose ni 0 to 2? So, here you are going to, di ba na-integrate mo na to? Uh, gawin natin tong f prime of x, ha? Uh, para lang, pag in-integrate mo siya, the integral of f prime of x is f of x, right? Okay. So, dito, pag nakuha mo na si f of x, from a to b, what you're going to do next is to perform subtraction. Using what? So, using f of b minus f of a. Okay? So, dito, meron tayong f of x na bago, which is x cubed over 3 plus 1. Dito, iti-treat natin to as a derivative. Para pag in-integrate natin siya, babalik siya sa original na function. Okay, so ito yung integral niya. x cubed over 3 plus x. Substitute natin si 2. We have 2 cubed over 3 plus 2. So this is the first part. Subtract mo yung nakasubstitute naman ay si 0. 0 cubed over 3 plus 0, which is... 0 na lang din naman. So, dito na lang tayo titingin. We have 8 over 3 plus 2. Uh, simplify natin. What is 8 over 3 plus 2? That is 3, 8 plus 
6. Okay, that is 14 over 3. Or approximately equal siya sa... What is 14 over 3? Ayun, 4.66667. And so on and so forth. This is the true area using definite integral. Okay? So, yung mga values na nakuha natin from before, yung... Ito... Uh, 3.75 at 5.75. Ang true area natin, A sub T, is also between 3.75 and 5.75. And we found out that it is actually equal to 4.6667. Uh, sabi ko kanina, diba, si midpoint, if you are going to use the midpoint here, it, sh it is expected to be closer than the lower or the left end point and the right end point. Pero, hindi tayo guaranteed na equal sila sa isa't isa. As you can see here, these two are not equal. But they are very close. Okay? Okay. So, I hope I was able to explain how to solve area problems uh, in a way na madali nyo naintindihan. And, sana maayos na rin yung introduction natin for definite integrals. Tutuloy natin yung discussion natin sa next na video. I will give you more examples on how to solve for the definite integral of functions. Tapos, medyo mas complicated na yung mga problems natin. Kasi hindi na siya bounded lang by one function. Ito kasi isang function lang yung nagbabound sa kanya eh. Sa taas, bounded lang siya by f of x is equal to x squared plus 1, right? Paano kung dalawa na silang function? Halimbawa, ano, ganyan. <laughs> um, ano yung area nito? Itong dalawang to from the two intervals. Yan. Mga ganun na yung mga susunod nating problems. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye!